Hi, I'm Caleb Horst with CellScale Biomaterials Testing. Today I'm going to be talking about the new generation of our Univert Mechanical Tester. This is a small form factor system that you can really have that test capability right where you need it. And if it's not right where you need it, it's, a, it's quite portable, you can take it with you. It's a 300 millimeter stroke, 200 newton force capacity system. It can do tension, compression, bending. It can even have options for adding shear and torsion capabilities. You can add on the uh, a camera package that allows you to do DIC strain measurements. You can have a vertical or a horizontal temperature controlled media bath. You can run the system vertically or you can actually pivot the system so you're running it horizontally and uh, being able to raise and lower your specimen quite easily out of a media bath. It really is a workhorse, a small but mighty system. We've been, this is the new generation of the system. We've been selling the Univert for many years and our users find that once they have that test capability at hand, they really find a lot of uses for it. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go through kind of a quick change where I'll show the different uh, formats, the different types of tests that the, uh, the system's capable of. And then at the end, I'll run through a tension test to see the software and how the software enables the users to run a wide variety of different tests. Let's first take a look at the most common type of test, a vertical tension test. On the upper side, we have the load cell mounted to the crosshead with a grip. These are specially designed grips that have a spring tension feature, so you can exchange the spring to get the appropriate clamp force for your specimen, so you're not going to damage it, but you're holding it with enough force to secure it. They also have a screw closure mechanism for higher force clamping and removable grip covers for a variety of clamping surfaces on, on soft and slippery biomaterials. Lower end of the specimen, we have a similar grip, and this uh, these grips will be programmed to move either under force or displacement control to stretch the specimen and capture that force displacement data. A second very common test mode is compression testing. This is very similar to tension testing, except the upper and lower grips are replaced by compression platens. And likewise, three-point bending, where the fixtures are replaced by fixtures that can be adjusted to give different types of three-point bends. Both tension and compression testing can also be done horizontally. This allows the use of a media bath and the system can be pivoted to allow easy specimen mounting and unmounting. In the horizontal configuration, the load cell is mounted to the fixed frame rather than the moving crosshead. This can also be done in the vertical orientation to minimize the effect of inertia and vibration when using very small capacity load cells. The Univert comes standard with a webcam for visual feedback to the user but the system can also be upgraded with a scientific imaging system. This allows not only for image capture, but also post-test analysis of the specimen strain using digital image correlation techniques. I'm not going to do a full overview of the Univert software in this video. It does many different things, but for now I've just set up a simple tension test in a horizontal orientation. On the top here, I'll pull this open just to show you where I've specified my test protocols as a displacement controlled test with a ramp profile. I'm going to stretch it by 20 millimeters in two seconds, recover in two seconds, and repeat that five times so that my test duration is 20 seconds. On the right, you'll see the force versus time, displacement versus time, and force versus displacement graphs. And in the center portion, you'll see the webcam showing me what's happening. I'm going to start the test now, and there you can see it running, and you see the live data populating the graphs as we go. This data will also be written to a text file that I can open for further analysis. And the test is complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to the Univert. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know.